tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Giga Ninja Chikaze! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Arnold! You ready to fight? Ready? Good. All right, all eyes on almighty Arnold Allen as this round gets underway, and it sort of took him a while to resonate with his fellow elite featherweight peers. You can be sure he is now on the champion's radar, has had a lot of big wins on his resume, has yet to taste defeat inside the octagon, and at least as far as the film is concerned, Daniel, haven't seen much resembling a glaring weakness when it comes to the all-around game of Arnold Allen. So a quiet pedestrian start to this fight, DC. Maybe too much respect on both sides. What do you see? Too much respect. in the build-up. They were hugging at the weigh-ins. It's almost like we're watching friends. You guys are here to fight. Get going. Start to implement the game plan that you've worked on over the course of the last eight weeks in the fight camp. Great punch from the clinch here. Caught that kick there. And they're separate. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Good defense blocking that punch. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Oh, nice. and get the single collar tie. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's always done. When you hit a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, just opening up on him now. some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving. Oh, he's in trouble. Big right hand. Massive left hand. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Allen gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Final seconds here. Round right, two is next. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mismatch. Fighter blocks the punch. Nice body kick there. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. What a huge blow 
in a big moment in this fight. Oh, Holmes landing massive shots. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the bus. That would end the night. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Two minutes now to go in round two. Nice block. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Right now, he seems lost to it. Got his guard pass. Yeah, he's trying to get to the darts here. That darts is tight. Submission defense wins this transition. Ten minutes in the game. Stop, stop, stop. All right, man. This is the last round. If you lose, you can win this. Let's go finish that fight. You got this, man. You can do this. Just like we do in here. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action. Putting their foot in the gas. And really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched. And the fight has been so close to this point. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down to Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. He missed with that jab attempt there. Absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this fight. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Push kick there to the body. Great time. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Chikadze is in half guard. Big ground and pound. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, a strike lands there, and somehow 
His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. <laughs> On the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Throwing that jab, no good. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Just out of range with that right hand. He's got that single power time locked in. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by majority decision, Kiga Ninja Chikaze! All right, so